guys, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face testing out new makeup, including this guy right here, which I am so incredibly excited to try because isn't this like the most beautiful palette you have ever seen in your life? I know everyone loves a good warm tone, so we are going to test this out today, see if it is worth buying. I actually don't like any of the other Urban Decay Naked palettes so I'm excited to see how this one goes because I have seen so many mixed reviews and I want to try it myself and also I'm going to be doing a full face testing new makeup too. I feel like it has just been so long since I have sat down and filmed a beauty related video because I just have been so unmotivated to film them. I just feel like I have no inspiration, I have no ideas, no good videos, beauty related videos that I wanna film. So I would absolutely love and appreciate so much if you could comment down below, let me know what beauty related videos you would like me to do and like to see on my channel. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in a full face, testing new makeup, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes. I always prime with concealer. I have two new ones here, so I'm not sure which one I wanna try. I have the Josie Moran Argan Creamy Concealer Crayon, and I have the Cover FX Cream Concealer. I'm just gonna do one on one eye and then one on the other eye, I don't even care. <laughs> Especially because this is like eyeshadow primer, you're not even gonna see it. Oh my god, that one is so light. And then I'm gonna set that. I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Lock It powder. I have had this for probably like a year now, and I have I don't think I've ever tried it that I can remember. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get into my Naked Heat palette. I'm so excited to try this out. So I'm actually gonna start out with this shade here. This is called Ounce. It looks like it's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but I'm just gonna use it to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm gonna dip in and mix these two shades here. This one is called Sourced, and this one is called Low Blow. I can already see that it's really pigmented because I tapped the product off and always, you guys know I'm really slow when I do my eyeshadow, so I always go like that before I put it onto my eye. And look how much is showing up already. I'm already impressed. Okay, now I'm, I don't know if I wanna go in with Cayenne or He Devil, they look so similar. Oh, they swatch nicely. Huh. So that one is Cayenne. I used to drive a Porsche, Porsche Cayenne. And that is He Devil. I think I'm gonna go in with He Devil. I should zoom in, shit, I'm so sorry guys. I always forget to zoom in. My camera's having a bit of a rave. Okay, there we go. Everything is blending out so nicely so far and the shadows are incredibly pigmented. Now I'm going to jump into this shade right here which is called En Fuego. Start deepening. Now I'm going to take the darkest shade in the palette, it's kind of like a purpley colour called Ashes and I'm going to start packing this onto the outer corner. I might try and make it like a little bit pointed, if that makes sense. You know, so far I am not understanding how those swatches looked so bad. I'm gonna put them up on the screen right now so that you guys can see the swatches if you haven't already. I just don't understand. Did they like, it's like they went doo, doo, doo. <laughs> 
and then swatched with that because even then I get color like I'm not understanding okay so now I'm gonna go in with a shimmer shade I just swatched the three here which I'm deciding between this one here is called ember this one scorched and dirty talk and I think I'm gonna go with scorched because I really like the pinky undertone that it has And then just on top of that, I'm going to add a little bit of lumbre. Lumbre, hombre. I did not see any fallout with that either, which is amazing. I would definitely feel confident using that palette if I already have my base makeup on. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this liquid eyeliner. It is from Ico. It's just a black one. I've never heard of this brand before, but I'm just going to use this... What am I using it for? I forget. The lash line. I'm just doing a small line of eyeliner on the lash line so that my lashes, my false lashes blend in. For mascara, I also have one from Ico. This is the Lengthening Skinny Brush Mascara. It's so cute and small, but I feel like there's not a lot of product in it. I also have this, which I want to try. I totally forgot I had it. This is the brow gel from Ico. It is tinted. Doesn't have a shade, apparently. It's just tinted. Can you see that? It's so liquidy. Oh, it just looks wet now. <laughs> it's not doing anything. It's just making it wet. I feel like maybe that would be more effective if I didn't have the brow product on. It's making my eyelashes so clumpy. Oh, they're just getting clumpier. It turned out a lot better on this side. I don't know what was up when I was applying it there, but... Okay, so I just added some lashes. I don't have any quickies left. <laughs> I used these House of Lashes Mon Cherry. And now I am going to start on the face. So I'm going to start with a primer. I have this one here from Kevin Aquan. It is the Sensual Skin Primer. It looks like a moisturizer. Ooh. It feels like a moisturizer. It's a primer, right? Yes, primer. And then for foundation, I got this one from Laura Mercier. This is the Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid Foundation. And I have the shade Suntan. It says to shake well. It's really friggin' dark. I think they had the wrong tester out. Shit. <laughs> All right. This is what we're rolling with. I was afraid that it was going to be too light, but they must have labeled their testers wrong. Can you, can you return a foundation to Sephora if you've used it once like this? Other than the color, it's a really nice foundation. Let me zoom you guys all the way in so you can see. It didn't really cover my red spot, but the finish of the foundation is amazing. It doesn't look cakey. It has really good, I would say medium coverage and a very nice dewy finish but not too dewy. I really hope I can return it because I would love to have this foundation in the correct shade because it, it has such a nice finish. I feel like if this holds up well throughout the day it will definitely be one of my new favorite foundations. Going back in with my Josie Maran concealer. This is the most concealer I've applied in a long time but I feel like I need to balance myself out because I'm so orange right now. A very hydrating concealer, almost oily. I feel like if you had dry under eyes, this concealer would be your best friend. Okay, before I forget, I'm gonna put these earrings on because I bought them. <laughs> they were expensive. They're so nice, but I have nowhere to wear them. I don't go anywhere fancy enough, and also they're really heavy. I'm gonna get some use out of them today. <laughs> Video. So now I have this from Stilla. This is the Shape and Shade Custom Contour in the shade Light. Why did I just try and tap a cream contour off? So creamy. Ooh, 
blends out so easily. Damn, this stuff blends out as if by magic. Okay, that is seriously amazing. I also have some cream highlighters here. I already took this one out of the package because I think this is the shade that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna swatch all of the shades for you guys, even though I'm not gonna use them all, just so you can see what they look like. The first shade that I have here is the shade Luminous. Next up, I have the shade Aurora. Aura. Then we have the shade Fireball. This one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to swatch this one. Shit. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry I can't swatch Fireball, but that is what it looks like. The next one I have here is the shade Skywalk. And the last one, which is the one I'm gonna use, is the shade Sin. I'm gonna have to see if Kerry can open that when he gets home because what the fuck? Damn, mommy. Now I'm gonna grab my Kat Von D powder again. I'm gonna use this to set my under eyes. Finally, they are looking oily. I feel like with this concealer, you really need to set it. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face as well. But I'm gonna miss the part where I've got my liquid highlighter. For bronzer, I have this one today from Ciate London. This is what it looks like. It is the shade South Beach. It has all of these little sparkles in it. So I'm hoping my cheeks don't look sparkly. Oh, it looks nice. Very nice. I really like that bronzer, but then again, I feel like it's hard to make a bad bronzer. All you have to really like is the color and hope that it's not patchy. Same with blush. I feel like it's difficult to make a bad blush, but we're going to test this one out anyway. This is from Ofra. It matches my nails. And it is in the shade Bellini. Very pretty color and very subtle, which I like because you don't want to blush that goes on too intense. Okay, for highlighter, I have this glow kit <laughs> um the afterglow highlighter palette from urban decay i think i'm going to take this shade right here called bliss because it's the lightest and i don't really want a pink highlighter damn that's pretty can you guys see that i feel like whenever i say that i like a highlighter people are always like i can't see it but like the way my cheekbones are set up i have to pose it <laughs> in a very specific angle for people to be able to see my highlight i cannot post a photo on Instagram where my highlight is popping. Okay, for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take the shade Cayenne and the shade He Devil and I'm just gonna mix them together. I'm gonna go back in with my little Ico, Ico? It's called Ico, right? I haven't been, yeah, Ico. This brush and this mascara is like perfect to get the lower lash line. I also bought this. I have been telling myself for months that I didn't need to buy this because I really wanted it, but also I was like, when the hell am I gonna use it? Well, now I'm it. So I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette, which I don't really, I would say it's more an iridescent palette rather than a holographic palette. Um, and I'm gonna use this to highlight my inner corner. I'm gonna use this shade right here. So this is called Blue Saf Saphir, Sapphire. Doesn't that look cool? Damn, that's cool. Something I forgot to do is contour. So I have this little Naked Skin Shapeshifter palette and I have an eyelash on it. I'm gonna use this predominantly, but I'm gonna mix in a tiny bit of this. I'm just like scared of this one because it's so dark. It's looking okay, but I'm using like the tiniest bit, which I guess with the little amount that I'm using is good because it means it's very pigmented. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna be applying this lipstick here from Bite Beauty. Aren't fresh lipsticks so beautiful? That 
is one creamy ass lipstick. Okay, so that is the completed look for today. I am going to wear this hopefully until about 9.30 p.m. It's currently 2.36 p.m. right now. So I feel like seven hours is a fair amount of time to tell you guys how these products wear throughout the day. So I will check back in with you maybe once, maybe twice, let you know how the products hold up throughout the day. Speak to you guys soon. Okay, so it is currently 4.14 p.m. and it's only been under two hours, but I wanted to come back and do a check-in because I just finished eating Indian food. And I'm so impressed that my lipstick is on right now because it's just a lipstick. Like, it's not a liquid lipstick, which you would expect to last through things. It's just a lipstick. I... Ugh. Oh my god, you know what I hate about Indian? It stains your fingers. I just expected it to come straight off. Okay, so it's now 9.41 p.m. and I'm looking pretty oily. <laughs> Other than the oil, I feel like it looks pretty good. Nothing's coming off, nothing's slipping around, my bronze is still there, my lipstick is still on, surprisingly. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!